company called Yeezy reached out to me. The third part of the video introduces the stitches in detail. I am getting nervous about something. This was my least favorite part of the whole kit. Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have something special for you guys. Yeezy sent me a crochet kit to try, so I will be reviewing in this video a Granny Square Market Bag crochet kit. There was a little bit of a snack, pun intended, where I started to run out of yarn, so be sure to watch till the end to see if I was actually able to complete this project. However, before we get into all that, let me take a second to introduce myself for anybody who is new here. My name is Jackie Chaplin. I'm the owner of a crochet business called Works of Whimsy Crochet. I sell patterns, felt eyes, and finished makes on my Etsy and a little bit on my website. I'm still transitioning over. It's a whole thing. I also sell in person at markets. In fact, I have five different market days this month alone, so it's a very busy month for me. So that's just about the end of my spiel, but I do have two things to say really quick. One, this is one of those videos that you kind of have to watch watch because throughout the video here and there, I've put up text on the screen as just like further explanation of a couple of things. And for two, I do have an affiliate link for you guys down below, and you can use my code Jackie15 to get 15% off your own Easy Crochet Kit as well. And they don't just have bag kits, they also have basket crochet kits and hat crochet kits in a variety of different colors, so be sure to check that out. And a word of note real quick, Jackie, my name, is not spelled traditionally, it's J-A-C-K-I, there is no E. So make sure you spell it J-A-C-K-I-1-5 if you are using that code, and I'm so sorry. And now, here is the video. And I really just wanted to do this like on camera because of this, so ignore the weird setup. It's like after an event and I'm like super tired, so like I came home and basically like laid down because it's been a long day. But a company called Yeezy reached out to me and wanted to send me some products basically to try so I could do like a review on them. And I cleared it with them like they're 100% okay with like my honest opinion and everything. And just so you guys know, this is not the first brand to reach out to me and like want to do some level of like try it and to like post about it situation. This is just the first one I've said yes to because after like looking at other reviews and taking a look at like their website and their brand it resonated with me so this is a company that does crochet kits and they've been kind enough to send me a couple of crochet kits to try and i was pretty sure that that's what this box was but i just wanted to like make sure i got this on camera before you know i opened it so like we could open it together it just came in this like little box okay cool cool uh okay Excuse me, Cleo. So this kit came in this like cute little bag. And this is, you can't see it super well because it's still on the packaging, but it's a kit to do like a granny square market bag. I'm not gonna like open open it right now just because I don't plan on starting it now, but I did want to at least open the, ba uh, the box to verify that this is what the kit was. So this one came in this like little beginner's bag. And then, shockingly, cause the like original deal was for them to just send me one kit. So I thought, but I was just gonna, because I know they've reached out to like other collaborators to like work together. I was just gonna like let them pick between like the two that I liked the most, which was that bag and like a basket kit just because I've not never made a bag well I've made like a little like charm bag but I've never made like a gray new square like market bag or anything and I've also never made like a full basket or anything so I was like I like both of these kits like you guys can just whatever works for you so you can't really see the picture through this one because it's like double wrapped but you can kind of see like the outline they decided to send me both so I'm excited I got some like good colors too and we'll explore that more when I like open the bags. Just so you guys know, like I said, this is not the first brand to like reach out to me. I'm not willing to just work with everybody just because and I like already verified like 100% like I'll do this collaboration so long as I can be honest and I tend to judge things pretty harshly I feel like. You guys, if you haven't seen it, know I did like a review of Lubles, and those are fun kits, but I definitely pointed out the things that I didn't necessarily love about them. They shipped these out on like Monday, to the best of my knowledge, and I received them today, Saturday, so I'll already put the shipping for this 
in the better than Google's category. A lot faster turnaround time. So it's the next day now and I have my kits. So I'm gonna actually officially open them and see what we have going on. So this is the market bag kit. Or I guess it's not like, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. It's just the jade bag. And let me look up this. So I got the jade bag, which is like a granny square bag. I believe they have another like jade bag that's square and not like, you know, that shape. But I just wanted to tell you guys like the prices. The full price it looks like is $43.97. Uh, but they're on sale right now for, at the time of recording, for $29.97. That's not too bad because I'd pay like $30 for a bag in general. And now you get like a kit that's like $30 to make a bag. So you get like the experience of like crocheting and making a bag. And then you actually have the bag when you're done. But they have a branded... 3.5 millimeter hook. It looks like this is a little instruction booklet more or less, but there's like a QR code to video tutorials. So we are going to be checking that out, but it says um, package content is yarn, a crochet hook, a threading needle, and a marking clip. So like a sewing needle and stitch marker. And then it says besides that you need a pair of scissors before you start to crochet. There's also a granny square diagram. The third part of the video introduces the stitches in detail. So I'm gonna like block my QR code, but I wanna show you the little diagram real quick. And then we have a little connection diagram about how they go together. So I showed you the crochet hook. This is the sewing needle and two stitch markers. So there's two straps. That's cool because I've like not made a bag before, let alone straps. So that I feel like that takes the pressure off knowing that the strap part is like already done. And they're cute. I like the gold hardware. They like look like good quality. I was trying to like stretch them to see. They have like a little bit of give to them, but they like feel nice. Okay, and then saving the best for last, the yarn. So I've got two skeins of this green color. There's like no markings on the yarn other than the tag, but I would venture to guess this is like a late four yarn. I've got some thoughts on it, but we will save that till we use. Um, I've got the start of a granny square, apparently. That wasn't listed in part of the instructions, so that's interesting. We've got this pink color. I've got this, like, blue-green kind of color. And then I've got this light blue color. So that is what I've got. And now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna set the straps aside because those will obviously be like last last. I need a bag before I can put the straps on it, you know? I need to scan this QR code. Or actually, I'm gonna use my computer. So I'm gonna put this here and just type the little link. Okay. crochet bag. Let's see what's inside the crochet kit. This is the yarn we are going to use. We are going to crochet like this from round one to round five. Okay. The round one. We are going to start on the round one square we provided since it's easier to start. The crochet hook is covered with Teflon, so the surface of the hook is very smooth. Let's distinguish between double crochet and chain stitch by round one. These are three double crochet. 
Okay, I know this part because I crochet, so uh, I don't need this, but this is definitely helpful. And I feel like actually it's a good thing that this is a granny square bag because it's like a good beginner thing, granny squares, and you can like really see what she's talking about with, you know, the tall ones being the double crochet and then the like chains being like around the corners. Let's start the round to crochet. I like it. It's got like a little bit of give to it. Okay. They hold their yarn different. I want to see if I can like mimic that because I've never like held yarn and like a crochet hook right because I don't do that whole finger up thing. Pull the hook through the space. Now we have the chain three, which is you double crochet stitch. Oh my god, you'd think I'd never crocheted before. I was stitching with my tail. At this point, I am paying attention to the video and like deciding if I feel like it's clear. And you know, I might even have a Zach come out and see if I can understand like the steps and maybe get his feedback as well. Yeah. The video is clear, like technically, and I'm able to understand it. And I think they're going slow enough and they're like, you know, showing you like one loop, two loop, like on their fingers and everything. So you can like see now and you get a like a clear shot of the work. Of but I also like am very familiar with these stitches, obviously, as a crocheter. From now on, we will use abbreviations. Oh, nice. That's good, because not everybody can like read a pattern, and I feel like that's really an important skill to have as a crocheter. So they've got on the screen like three double crochet as like three DC, and then it says in parentheses double crochet, so they still have like a little cheat sheet for you. But they're also working on teaching that part too because we all know the lingo can be yeah a lot okay i finished my second corner one thing i'm noticing as a potential con i guess i'll slouch to tell you is i am not in love with the hook technically there's nothing wrong with it like you get a good slide you know it's not terrible but and I don't feel like any like roughness to it because believe me I've bought some cheap crochet hooks that have been like you can literally like feel roughness on like I believe it's called the shaft so there's nothing technically wrong with it there but I feel like it's not as smooth as other specific brands that I've used of crochet hooks so I don't think it'll stand in the way of anybody learning or anything, but if I was to be doing this kit as just like a regular person who bought it on my own, I would, the first thing I would do is immediately switch this out for one of my others. But for, you know, the sake of testing this, I am going to continue to use their hook just to ensure that it can be done. But, you know, as you can see, there's nothing preventing me it's just not as smooth as i'm used to as smooth as i'm used to i had the hiccups so my battery died but i haven't done anything i just immediately like switched it out not in love with the hook not a deal breaker the video seems very clear to me but i might be biased because i know what i'm doing what else oh the yarn the yarn i like that it's like a little bit stretchy i don't know if i'm allowed to but i mean this is like kind of an unpaid collaboration other than they gave me the stuff to review so i'm gonna mention it i reviewed woobles and one thing i didn't love about their kit coincidentally was the yarn this yarn has like everything so far and i'm not super far into it but i can immediately tell a difference that that yarn was lacking it's got almost the same kind of and that's gonna be really hard to see like it's got the same kind of like mesh vibe to it, except there's no core. So like I'm not getting like a crochet hook through this, whereas the way the uh, Woobles yarn was, I could, I I like snagged my hook on it. I don't see that happening on this one. So it's gonna, 
crochet like a rope. It's not gonna split on you. And I like that this actually has a little bit of give to it, whereas the Woobles yarn to me did not have like any give to it. I don't know, I just, as somebody who crochets a lot, I prefer my yarn to have just like a little bit, just, I don't know, there's something about a little bit of give that I find very helpful. So you can get things tight, but then like when you work back through later, like it's not so tight because you can like stretch it a little bit. So it keeps things like crisp, but like still workable. So I'm actually like really digging the yarn and I'm actually like really digging the colors of this particular bag because I thought it was just kind of like green and maybe I'm like colorblind or my computer's not great. I don't know, but I definitely thought it was just kind of like green and then like this like light blue color. I'm like happy to see some pink. I like the little variation of this like dark kind of blue green color. I like that this is like an olive -y green. So I'm digging that too. As far as the video goes, I believe that it is clear, but I am gonna also have somebody who does not crochet for a living, you know, watch some of it. And I'm not gonna like test out his skill with watching the video because there's gonna be like obviously a little gap between like understanding it and like physically being able to execute it but I just want to like see if he can kind of more or less like explain to me from listening to it what he thinks he's like supposed to be doing. At this point we've finished crochet the second layer of squares. Next we need to use a slip stitch to connect the first and the last. Find the stitch between the first three chain stitches and the first double crochet. Insert your hook into this hole. Yarn over. Pull through the hole and you have two loop on you hook. Bring the first loop through the second one. And the slip stitch has been made. the yarn with scissors so they have like this little diagram right here that's cool that kind of shows you like where to go up and through and then you guys can see now use like, the, the needle to thread through the stitch from side to side This is my little granny square so far. Ah, there we go. And I guess it actually is really convenient that they send the first one done for you. I'd be curious when we get to the second one because only one's done and I need to like make a good amount of granny squares for the bag. I'm curious to see like what that video is gonna look like. Wrap the yarn around your little finger and index finger to hold the yarn. I do feel like that part is like relatively clear, but I also, Hold the yarn wish for more instruction together. on how to do it because I've never been able to crochet like that and she's not explaining how like tension works so I'm not gonna do it like that because that's just not how I like hold my stuff and I don't Insert think there's necessarily anything space. wrong with that you should come watch this video to tell me if you think it's clear because I already know how to crochet watch this part does she does that like make it clear for you? You don't have to be able to like actually execute it, but are you able to like understand? So you yarn over, pull through, there's three on the hook. She like, showed you with her nail the three. She just pulled through two. And then you yarn over, pull through two again. Yeah. So yarn over. Yeah, it's slow enough. Insert. Yarn over. Three. Pull through the first two, you have two left, you run over, pull through two. I think it's clear, but you know, I've done these stitches. Yeah, that was so slow. I mean, that's clear. Then pop a chain stitch to Real clear. Connect. Yeah, I do think the videos are like really slow, the other three center but they're also on YouTube, so you could adjust the playback speed. I sped now it up, pop a chain stitch but uh, of course, if you like order. don't know what you're doing, having the option to like slow it down is like really nice three chain stitches three double crochets and a chain stitch yeah it might even be worth mentioning that at the beginning 
Yeah. Yeah, they didn't. Let me but just extra slow in case beginners are watching. Time to heal. Yeah, they didn't mention it, but I will definitely mention it in case and anybody wants to get these to, kits. If it's too slow, feel free to speed it up too. Yeah, I guess I can continue this like off camera now. I want to like make one and then watch the video for how they start the other one because they actually sent this first square started. Okay, I just wanted to do a little update about where I'm at with my Yeezy Crochet Kit. So to recap, day one, I just opened the box pretty much because I was pretty sure that's what the box was, but I wasn't 100% sure. But nonetheless, I opened it on camera just to make sure I got that part so we got, could like experience that together. But that's all I did because day one was a market day and after markets, it's always like really tiring. So that's like all I had in me that day. And then day two was Easter and we were running all day Easter as well, just because, you know, holiday and families and things and yeah. So that day, I kind of got into it when we got home and I managed to make this square and start like exploring the videos. And uh, I've already mentioned like my feedback on the videos. They are definitely not bad. And Zach, like as a newbie, was able to like mentally comprehend what he was supposed to do. And I tell that to people at my markets all the time. Crochet technically is easy, like your brain will get it. It's just training your hands to do it is the part that takes time. But your brain gets what you need to do long before your hands can like actually fully execute it like the way your brain wants you to. But he was able to understand the videos. So I think that part's good. Then day three, I didn't film anything, but I made three squares, which are these three squares. And then day four, I made three more squares, which are these ones. And now I'm just weaving in the ends on these. I have not been using the um, videos at this point just because like I've got the pattern down but I will obviously need to go back to the video for figuring out assembly but I'm still a few days off because I need 13 squares in total and I have seven. What does that leave? Six more to do? So that'd be Wednesday, Thursday. If I do three squares each day I'll do I'll be ready for assembly by Friday which isn't too bad because I got the kit originally on a Saturday, so that's about a week of working on it, which is good, because then that gives me one more week to edit. And spoiler alert, there will be a part two for the other kit that I got, which is for making a basket, and that has different yarn. I haven't opened it up yet, but I could see through the package the yarn is like a different style of yarn. So you'll definitely want to come back for part two because, you know, it's going to be like a whole different video. Yep, that is my update for now. Okay, so I didn't post any sort of update yesterday or post film any sort of update yesterday. Yesterday was day five. I just made three more of the granny squares. This puts me at a total of ten, but I am getting nervous about something. I did finish one of my skeins of green on um, the last granny square I did, so number 10. So I did have to open my other green, which obviously isn't a problem. I'll be able to do three skeins with this. But these are what I have left of the other colors. I'm not so much worried about the pink, but I'm getting a little bit worried about like the two blues. This is round two and round three of the granny square. I'll show you again in case you don't recall round two and round three so you use I mean not a ton but you do use a fair amount and I just don't know that this especially has three skeins or uh, three granny squares left in it because it's such a small thing <laughs> so yeah and I mean I've been using the 3.5 millimeter hook that they sent I don't think my tension's super loose if it is I mean all of my squares are like the same size so at least I've been consistent but I feel like I naturally crochet kind of tight because I do amigurumi, though my holes do look like a little bit bigger, but I mean, I feel like it shouldn't be like that close, you know, if, if you think I need like, let's say a hundred grams or whatever to make the project, I feel like they should be sending like 200 to like, you know, cover it. So we'll see. I mean, that's not to say I will run out, obviously, of course. But uh, that's to say, uh, I think if I was like personally advising them, 
I think having this much left over after making all of them is still kind of cutting it close. But having this much left over and three more to make, that is going to be cutting it real close. So we'll just have to see. Uh, I'm not starting on them like right now because it's like first thing in the morning, but I will be doing my three today, so we'll see. And to be able to finish the project, if I do run out, I've got a couple of yarn choices I could substitute for it, and I'll just try to figure out something that looks good if I do end up substituting, but hopefully I won't have to. So I am a little bit confused, only in the sense that they're using white to like thread together their granny squares, sew them together, but I feel like the most natural thing to use would be the color of the outside ring, which they're using like a different color ring in the video. They're using like blue squares. I've obviously not got blue squares, but their white is like in place of my like peach orangey pink color but I just went to like look at what the bag looks like they're definitely sewed together with green because you can't like really see the seams so I wonder so I mean as far as like the video goes that's the only thing that I find kind of confusing so far so you guys can't hear the video on this but I can because that's what the headphones for but it's basically just stitching through all of everything. I feel like even though conceptually this part is easy because of how they have you weave in your ends, this part might be a little bit confusing to the beginner people. Because of how they show you how to weave in the ends, uh, it disrupts how the stitches look a little bit on the edges. So some of these aren't just like super uniform Vs and I feel like that could be confusing in general to like new people. Oh, I did have to change needles because I broke my other one because it got stuck. I don't remember if I like mentioned that, but that was definitely like a me issue. So I'm just using a very similar style of needle. And now we've come to the end of the footage where I was making the bag. And so I will be sharing my final thoughts with you. I've split it up into like five different like talking points sections, affordability, ease of use, my thoughts on the yarn, my thoughts on the hook, and my thoughts on the video clarity. So we will first start with affordability. I do think these kits are wildly affordable. I will show you my bag at the end, but I think the bag alone is worth at least $30, let alone the fact that I got a whole crochet kit and experience of making the bag to go along with this like here functional bag. So I do think it's affordable as far as ease of use goes. I do like the fact that when you're learning to crochet, a lot of times they tell you to start with granny squares. So the fact that they, this company offers granny square bags. So not only are you making a square, but you're also like making a square enough times that you get like good practice, but it's not so many times that you have to make like a thousand for a blanket. So I think like it's really smart to have granny square bag kits because it's just enough, I feel like, practice without being like totally like unengaging after you make your like you know 13th square you're done here so I do think the ease of use there is good and it's like really smart to have these kits because I love woobles and I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to compare to woobles but I do love woobles and the fact that they're fun but let's be honest Ami Grimmy serves pretty much no purpose but the Yeezy kits you get a like a functional project at the end they have kits for hats obviously if it's like coming toward like winter time having a nice like cute crochet hat that you made yourself kind of nice kind of functional they have kits for bags obviously like a market bag totally useful I almost thought about bringing it to Bush Gardens over the weekend my only concern was that it wasn't like big enough so because I have like three kits two of them are like diaper age still so I was just concerned about that but if it only had been me I feel like this would have been a good bag to bring and then they have like kits for baskets and that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to making next is my basket kit because like who doesn't love baskets you know and I think we're gonna have to pause here for a second because I'm getting food delivered so hold on a few minutes later Okay. Oh yeah. Back to my thoughts. So now we'll cover the next three topics I have, which is video clarity, the yarn, and the hook. And I'll cover them in like order from least problematic to I feel like most problematic. So least problematic is the video clarity. I did call Zach over as you've seen during the video and asked his thoughts. He thought it was clear and easy to understand. Now whether you'll be able to actually like physically execute what it's telling you to do on the first go is like debatable because that's obviously a matter of skill, not a matter of clarity. But I do think in general the videos are slow enough that they're easy to understand and she like uses her finger to like you know mark where she's at and what she's talking about so I think that's cool. 
I also love that they had like the abbreviations for the different stitches as well as like a diagram a chart up in the corner so you could see that. One thing I didn't love that I felt like could have been a little more clear and just maybe more comprehensive is explaining the different symbols since they did have the chart in the corner for part of it and in the instruction book because not everybody knows how to read a crochet chart and knows like the symbols for different things you know. So and that's just like a matter of like splitting hairs. I also so feel like, and now everybody, let's take a step back and understand that AI isn't nefarious all the time as like a caveat to what I'm about to say. I do think that the video was like the audio, the verbal part of the video was AI generated. Now, is that because like the creator has like a heavy accent and this was just like the more clear way to do it? I don't know. Maybe it's just like a matter of preference. Not everybody is comfortable like speaking on camera. I don't know, but it there are softwares you could use where you could type like like a written script and then they will like give you like verbal audio back that's just like AI generated more or less. So I do believe that's what this video is. It's pretty smooth sounding, you know, kind of like Alexa's got like a normal voice these days. It's a little less robotic mechanical sounding. But most people don't talk with typos and there was like a couple of points in the video where it seemed like there was a written typo that then got made into like verbal audio. So if you like looked uh, on the video, that was like what the question marks are for like one part of it because it was just like weird wording of something. But I don't think overall that like actually affected the ability to understand the, the questions. It was just like a little bit weird on the ear, you know? So all in all, I rate the video clarity like 4.75 out of five. Uh, there's a couple of things that I feel like could have been explained more or like cleaned up a little bit, but not too bad. The next kind of problematic but not quite thing was the yarn. Now the yarn itself, the quality of the yarn itself, I like it. I don't know if I'm allowed to compare to Woobles, but I'm going to again. Woobles talked like in extremes about how great their yarn is and everybody loves the Woobles yarn. I hated it. I did not like it at all. It's like a mesh yarn around like a solid core and it's so easy to poke a crochet hook through it. And I don't know, maybe that's just like a me thing, but I have talked to like a few other people and they said they don't love it either. But then there's like a whole camp of people that do. So I don't know if we're the weird ones or if they're the weird ones. But either way, you can impale their yarn. And so it makes it different, difficult to use. There's no stretch to it. I feel like everything they were going for with their yarn is what the Yeezy yarn is. So I'll show you just again. See, it's like full mesh, but there's no core to it. It's got, uh, I don't know how to like stretch this on camera without showing my face. It's got like a little bit of a give to it. So when you're using it, you could still get it tight, but then work back through in that same spot later, which helps. Yeah, I just like it. It's not terribly like soft, but you're not making like a soft bag. Like it's got kind of like a rougher texture, but it gives like heavy duty. It doesn't give like poor quality. You know what I'm saying? But the issue I had with the yarn is they didn't send enough, kind of. In my opinion, they didn't send enough. I was able to complete the bag, which, you know, is obviously the goal, but this is all I had left of one of the colors. And if you guys don't crochet, this might have done like a square and like a half left because I was using it for this row right here. So it's not like a terribly tiny row, but you're talking like eight times three, you're talking like 24 double crochets. Double crochets are kind of yarn eaters and then plus some chains and stuff in there, not necessarily a yarn eater. But I feel like I should have had more than this amount left because this is a tiny amount. And I'll show you the other skeins. Here's what I'm working with on those, like a nice solid amount. And like, I know what you guys are thinking, maybe that like I'm splitting hairs over nothing because I was able to finish but like what if somebody is new and kind of f's up a lot and then has to like cut up like part of their yarn to like take it out and things and there's just mess ups and like their tensions like not consistent across like this is really cutting it close so I just think especially for a beginner kid if you think I'm gonna use like 100 grams of yarn send you 100 for new people just because like they don't have that experience and they could burn through yarn a little more you know easily and now the final part this was my least favorite part of the whole kit but I do think there's kind of maybe a benefit to it too and I might be reading too much into it but my least favorite part of the kit was this guy this guy sucks like the shaft is smooth and they even go out of their way to state that it's like Teflon coated or something. And so in theory, 
it should be super smooth and I show you guys that like it the yarn does slide on it but it's like I don't know trying to slide down a slide in like bare skin versus trying to slide down a slide in like you know nice like stretchy kind of spandexy like leggings you like shoot down with leggings so this is like bare skin on a slide you can do it it's just not like the most smooth and now I will say and I had the same thought about the like Woobles crochet hook. Maybe it's intentional because like the extra little bit of friction means like when a new person like puts their stuff in one spot, it's not going to really go anywhere. And that can help because we all know what it's like to like, you know, slip when you're trying to crochet and it can be annoying. So maybe that's like intentional to make it to where like it's easier to use for a new person and obviously they don't know the difference between that and say like a super smooth fancy tulip crochet hook where like this thing slides like butter so maybe that's intentional or you know maybe it's just like lower quality but i will say i'm pleasantly surprised that there's no like burrs on it or anything because i've got like amazon hooks where it's like speckled almost on the hook because it's just that poor quality. This was my least favorite part. Is it a deal breaker? Not necessarily. You can get it done with this hook. I made the vast majority of the squares with this hook, but I did get tired of it and I switched to this for my last few squares and what a night and day difference if you know how to crochet and you know like what makes a good hook. So if they could just improve that, they would have got like fully like five stars across the board. So I'm not going to take off points for the yarn because I didn't technically run out, but I do think they are playing a dangerous game there with not sending quite enough. But I am going to take off like another quarter point for the fact that the hook is like not that smooth and I have used it next to a better quality one. And so that was very clear to me. So overall, I'm going to give this kit a like 4.5 out of 5 stars. I like that it's affordable. I like that it's easy to use. I like that you're making functional products, but you're still practicing those like skills that you need. That's going to be like the foundation for you doing other projects. So all in all, definitely worth it. And it's at an affordable price point. And like I said, you get a functional thing when you're done. So that makes it even more affordable because you can buy purses and baskets for like $30 a thing. But now you also get the like education process of making it. So without further ado, I will finally show you guys the full finished bag. Ta-da! So... It's nice, it's nice. Oh, I didn't say, one thing I really liked are these straps. For one, I didn't have to make them, so that's nice, because I feel like straps can really make a, break, a project. There's like the nice gold hardware, and then the bag itself is really nice. And I will say, for anyone looking to buy a crochet kit, from Yeezy. Uh, like I said, the affiliate link is down below, as is my discount code Jackie15. Remember that's Jackie Noe15, J-A-C-K-I-1-5. I will say, if you are new to crochet and you like dark colors, don't do that to yourself. As you can see, this is like a solidly dark green. There's another bag that has like an almost like a black color in the green space. I would go for something a little more vibrant, a little lighter, because if you are new to crochet, the darker colors are harder to work with because it's harder to see your stitches and know where you should work. So that would be my only feedback on the color choice for your own bag. And if you guys are interested in trying the kits, remember all that information is down below and let me know in the comment section if you're gonna be trying a hat, a bag, or a basket because I would love to find out and be sure to keep an eye out for my review of the Yeezy basket kit coming soon. I don't know when. Full disclosure i have not started it yet because i've been busy with orders and things that is going to be all for this video if you like more crochet content check out this video right here and i will see you guys in the next one bye